Hello everyone, it's Dan Can, Daniel Hunt, the people's realtor. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy watching home tours, I would like to invite you to join my YouTube family by subscribing. So today I will be showing you two of my listings, new listings. They're one block from each other. The first one you're gonna see today is located 1109 Muncie Avenue, three bedrooms, three baths, a little over 2,300 square feet, two car, asking 575,000. And the second listing, like I said before, is a block over, is located 923 Bayani Street, Dallas, Texas. That one is a little under 2,300 square feet, exact 2,280 square feet, three bedroom, three bath, two car, asking 580, 580,000. I can't wait for you to see both of these listings. Get your popcorn ready, let's go. So as you enter your town home, you can see you have your stone inlays and you're greeted with an eight foot wood with glass accented front door. Now we are inside. One thing I love about this home is the decorative concrete flooring. I mean, it looks beautiful, especially fresh mop or, or fresh buff, uh, really makes this space seem a whole lot bigger than what it is. Love, they have plenty, the builder did plenty of recessed lighting. So this is where you would enter your home most of the time, two car garage. So you have a full two car garage, nice mudroom area for shoes and coats and another closet for your guests. Coat closet. And this would be our first bathroom, which is a powder room, okay? Of course, your concrete flooring is brung into here as well. Beautiful quartz um, vanity, loving the light fixture, very modern. Love the blue, gives a really swanky touch. Beautiful powder room. Love how they designed the foyer area here. I mean, really sets the mood right when you come into the home. And here is our living space, okay? Love that this is staged because you can get a really good feel of what you can put in here, okay? If you wanted to put, uh, you could put, you know, uh, a full couch here. If you wanted to put a, a love seat on either side, you can do so. Um, you could probably get a good, I would say what, four or five, six, seven, maybe even eight people in here, uh, six very comfortably, okay? Wall would be perfect for anywhere between, you could even put a 75 inch television set there as well, would not overpower the space. And let's talk about this kitchen. Guys, in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this kitchen. I'm loving this granite countertop. You can get four bar stools, four or more, it's an oversized island. They have three here, but you can get four. Oversized steel farm sink, and the focal point, in my opinion, to this kitchen, actually has two focal points, is this contemporary modern life fixture. Loving the life fixture and the backsplash. I really think this high gloss tile really uh, 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 reflects off of this quartz, because they are both kind of dark, so you have your uh, darker tones within your quartz, but this kind of actually reflects off of it, so you can actually see uh, your quartz in the reflection of your backsplash. I think, I just love that they did that. You have your chrome uh, fixtures and soft clothes, as you can see, so you have your soft clothes cabinets. Four burner Whirlpool stove and dishwasher, okay? And here we have our dining slash breakfast nook. This is the perfect size. I think 
any more than six would definitely overpower the space. You could if you were with a little bit longer table, you might be able to get eight, but I think this is perfect. Um, but eight wouldn't overpower the space at all. Loving just this whole entire area. Uh, I think this is a great entertainment space. Now for the pantry. Loving the glass accented barn doors. You've watched a lot of my videos. <laughs> I love uh, uh, barn doors just because, I mean, they just save just a little bit of space, but uh, the more space, the merrier, right guys? <laughs> and check out this pantry. I'm gonna walk all the way to the end so you can get a good idea of how large this pantry is. So you have more than enough space to store food and they actually have extra storage way at the end. So if you want to store, uh, you know, even more food or you know or luggage or whatever you have more enough space to do that okay now let's go upstairs so we can see all of the bedrooms and the flex space follow me so now we're here upstairs let me know what you think of this town home so far i love interacting with you all if you're interested in purchasing in the dallas land area text dallas to the number below okay so let's ch check out our first bedroom so here's our first bedroom you can get a queen or king size bed in here comfortably if this was my space i probably would put the bed here okay i probably put my bed here uh which means you could get you do you you, you, you can get two dressers you guys you can get two maybe medium-sized dressers and a king size bed okay nice walk-in closet so here we have nice walk-in closet and our second bathroom so two of the bedrooms would share this one love this bathroom quartz countertops i love the gray slate tile and this is a nice pebble tile for the shower okay real simple clean minimalistic shower i love it sometimes less is more right <laughs> nice high quality materials but still very modern and sleek here's our second bedroom okay you can get a king size bed in here comfortably you can get a king size bed two medium dressers another full nice decent size closet Okay, so for the square for the square feet, they did you know the builder did great uh, with the size of closets. I, I read a lot of the comments. I know that's a lot of a, a concern for a lot of you all. Loving the contemporary fan. It didn't point out you have four inch baseboards throughout the whole entire home. Now on the second level, you're greeted with hardwood floors. Okay, here we would have our laundry area for wash and dryer. And this is a nice flex space. So a few things you could do with this. If it was mine, I would have it as a nice office. Um, or you can use it as an additional seating area, you know, just to have a little seating area, uh, drink some tea and some t coffee in the morning or evening. So you have multiple different things you can do with this space. But I think it's perfect for an office. And now we are in the primary bedroom primary bedroom right again contemporary fan oversized king size bed i mean you gotta have a king size bed in your primary right <laughs> oversized king size bed you have two medium dresses but you can get two full dresses in here comfortably um you no know, plenty of recessed lighting even have a nice seating area here which i would i think this is perfect i would prefer to have two in this area two single chairs as opposed to a couch um simple sleek again guys very minimalistic decorated perfectly and here is the primary bathroom primary bath uh, um, remember again guys this is 2380 square feet so the space is distributed quite well in this town i must say beautiful coarse countertops chrome fixtures of course you have your soft clothes very modern and contemporary uh, mirrors and light fixture huge shower Again, quartz, loving the design tile, quartz again for the, 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 the back wall here and chrome fixtures. And here we have 
a deep soaking tub. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to fit. You actually really could put a longer tub in here, but so my knees are bent slightly, <laughs> but if you wanted to put a bigger tub in there, you can as we take a lot of baths, but I just love, one thing I do love about this tub is the design. I love the design of this tub. Again, you have your chrome fixtures, window here, just let in enough lighting, but of course, you know, depending on if you get in the tub, it's still uh, high enough so no one can see it, okay? Here we have our water room and very nice size closet. I like how they, I like they put a window in your closet area just to get in some natural light. I mean, you watch enough of my videos, you know, I'm a big fan of natural light, can't get enough. Um, very nice size closet. I think you could actually, it's, it's a good size for two, I believe. So let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this home? Stick around, I'm not done. I'm getting ready to show you my second listing. It's a block away, all right? Let me know what you think about the home. Follow me to the next home. Okay, so here we are at the second listing. So we're already coming to the home. Decorative concrete flooring, coat closet, and storage, okay? You have your stairs here, we're leading to the second floor, so I think it's a perfect, uh, they utilize this space quite well for storage underneath the stairs. And then to my right, you have a powder room, sliding doors, beautiful quartz countertops, very modern sink, contemporary lighting, very well done, sleek, I think that's done pretty for, I mean, just the, the touches in that room, I mean, it, it's really inviting and I could, you know, <laughs> great for guests or why are you coming to the home, right? This is where you would, of course, come into your home most of the time, two car garage. And I also want to point out, I didn't put on last one, of course, you have your tankless water heater, but nice size two car garage, you even have a little more space for some storage there. Okay, so here we have pantry, and this is where we have a Frigidaire microwave stored as well. Now, I love this space. I love this space. One, for this oversized island. You see they have four ball stools here. You probably, now that I'm looking at it, I think four is perfect. I think anything more than four would definitely be too much for this space. Oversized steel farm sink, chrome fixtures, and again, I mean, I, I'm loving the light fixtures this builder used. Simple, still very modern and contemporary. Soft closed cabinets, chrome fixtures. You actually here have a four burner with griddle, Frigidaire, so the appliances in this one are a little bit more high-end, all right? And I just love this granite countertops. Same style of back uh, backsplash, but they went with a more kind of greenish, grayish tone for the backsplash, perfectly designed. Here we have a table set for six. I think this is perfect. If you wanted to, if you had a longer table, you probably, you may be able to get eight. I'm just loving this whole entire area because I mean, comfortably you can get 14 to 16 people here, uh, no problem at all. If you opened up your patio area, which we'll see out there as well, it has some patio seating. I mean, you can get 20 people in here comfortably. Plenty of recessed lighting, and I love the fan that they chose in this one, <laughs> right? Those are like those big fans. They call them big fans now. You can look them up on uh, Google or whatever. Uh, this is, of course, a smaller model, but love it. More of a contemporary um, style as well, but big fan of that light fixture. And again, you can probably get a 75 inch television set here. No problem, would not overpower the space. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside on the patio air and just so you guys can get an idea of the size. 
obviously you have a small backyard area. Uh, so if you do have a small, small dog, perfect space for here. And if you wanted to do some type of covered awning here, you can as well. You can get six people out here very comfortably. So guys, let me know, what do you think of this space? I mean, could you see yourself living here uh, with your family? I think this is perfect for a small family or even greater uh, uh, investment opportunity. So now let's go to the second level so we can view all of our bedrooms. So here we are on the second level. Here we're greeted with hardwood floors. To my right, we have a flex area, which I think is perfect for an office. Okay, this is a perfect office area. And let's go all the way to the end. Before we go into the first bedroom, I wanna show you all. This is where your laundry room would be located. So you have room for storage and washer and dryer. Here we have a closet. So you have a nice size closet here. And this bedroom, guys, really nice size bedroom, okay? More of a rectangular shape, but very, not very roomy. I think I would put my bed along this side. So you put your bed along this side, you can get a king in here comfy, no problem. If you wanted to put a TV there, you could. And you even have enough room here. Like I said, this is not the, this is not the primary. You even have a room here for a desk if you wanted to put a desk here or another seating area, okay? Now, we're gonna enter the bathroom. This is also connected to another bedroom, okay? So it's kinda of like a Jack and Jill, but this is a really nice connecting bathroom. Quartz for the countertops, chrome fixtures, modern light fixtures and mirror. We have plenty of storage here, soft clothes, okay? Sliding doors to separate the tub, shower, water room. Nice gray slate tile for the flooring, okay? And here is our second bedroom. Now this bedroom, I would probably put a queen size bed. Okay, queen size bed or smaller, okay? And here we have our closet. Nice size closet. I think the size of bedrooms here are perfect. Again, guys, this one's 2,380 square feet. So I think the space is distributed quite well in here. Now we're going to enter the primary cords. But before we do that, we're greeted with a linen closet here. And right when you enter your primary quarters, to my left you have your primary bath. Now I love how they kind of mix it up here. Make this seem like a, a, a toy separate quarters by choosing a different type of quartz countertop. Chrome fixtures again, soft clothes for the cabinets. Here we have our water room. An oversized shower. Guys, check out this. If this isn't a sexy shower, I don't know what is. I'm loving this textured tile. This is just really gives it a really modern look. Nice desoling tub. This is going to pass the Dan Can test. <laughs> I can tell. Yes, it does. This is a very deep tub, huge tub, so I love that. And I love the design slate tile for the flooring. And here's our primary closet, okay? So um, I do like that they customized it, so if you wanna hang, you know, um, coats or whatnot, or depending on what the season is, you might swap out, uh, that way you can have enough space for two. Let me know what you think, guys. You know I love interacting with you guys. Could you see yourself living here? Could you see 
purchased as investment property. What do you think of this space? This home in general, right? So here we are in the primary. Seating area, plenty of natural light. This is a queen size bed, but you can get a king size bed in here comfortably, no problem. I would definitely put a king size bed in here if you wanna put TV or more artwork along the wall, contemporary fan, plenty of recessed light. So now let's go downstairs so we can talk about the area. So stay tuned. Uh, there's lots to talk about this area. Um, Trinity Grove is, is an upcoming area uh, that a lot of people are moving to. A lot of investors are purchasing land here and building beautiful properties such as this one. So stay tuned. So a little bit about this area. You're eight minutes, five to eight minutes from downtown Dallas. Plenty of place to eat and shop there, right? <laughs> uh, AA Center, Dallas Mavericks, um, plenty of options for nightlife. And then you're minutes away, literally three minutes away from the Trinity Grove area, which you have many places to eat. Uh, lots of things are coming this way. More places to shop. You're not too far from Deep Ellum. You're not too far from the Bishop Arts area. Uh, medical district, that's why this is also a very good investment property as well. Uh, so lots of reasons why you should be investing in the Trinity Grove area. Um, it's all about don't wait to buy real estate, <laughs> buy real estate and wait. So if you get an opportunity to purchase this area, your investment is gonna, do, is gonna do nothing else but grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my YouTube family. Follow me on IG at It's Dan Can. Health, peace, and prosperity to you all. And I will see you guys at the next tour. Bye-bye. Thank you.